If you've ever watched a romantic movie, listened to a love song, or read a romance novel, then you've probably heard of the term dying of a broken heart. When we think of a broken heart, we either think of a cartoon heart with a crack in it, or some hopeless romantic that just got their life turned upside down as a result of a loss of a lover, usually through breakup or death. Now you might actually be surprised to hear that the latter can actually exist in real life. It can be a result of those stated, but it's not limited to them. Broken heart syndrome is also known as stress-induced cardiomyopathy, or Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. It's usually the result of a high emotionally stressed situation, like the loss of a love, rejection, finding out you are being cheated on, divorce, etc. It can also be caused by positive things as well, like winning the lottery. The most common symptoms are similar to a heart attack or angina, which is chest pain and shortness of breath. Most people who experience this think they're actually having a heart attack. And according to the American Heart Association, it can cause arrhythmias and cardiogenic shock as well. Arrhythmias are irregular heartbeats, and cardiogenic shock occurs suddenly when the weakening heart can't pump enough blood to supply the body's vital organs. This is the reason some people die of a heart attack. A lot is still unknown about broken heart syndrome, but it's believed that the surge in stress hormones causes an enlargement in part of the heart, making beating difficult. However, the rest of the heart continues to beat normally. It could also be that the increased stress constricts the coronary arteries. The coronary arteries are the arteries that feed the heart. With these arteries constricted, less blood and oxygen is going to the heart cells, and because of this, you'll get a feeling that's similar to angina. Broken heart syndrome is pretty tricky to diagnose, and depending on the sources, the information actually differs too, so take this all with a grain of salt. Since the person coming into the eMERGE is going to be presenting with heart attack-like symptoms, they're going to perform the standard test to diagnose a heart attack. Firstly, they're going to do an ECG, which looks at the heart's electrical activity. This may or may not look similar to a heart attack, so it might be impossible to tell. The blood tests, however, should look differently. There may be some markers that are similar to a heart attack, but the levels in the blood are usually much less. And if a person has a heart attack, there should be blockages in the coronary arteries, but if they're having broken heart syndrome, then they won't. Recovery time, therefore, is much faster. Days to weeks versus months for an actual heart attack. Some other research that I saw showed that every test that they do to diagnose a heart attack actually comes back negative. So if you're having these heart attack symptoms, but no actual cause, it could be broken heart syndrome. This is another example how stress and emotions can actually cause physical pain to people. It's very interesting. Women's risk for broken heart syndrome is higher than men, and especially if they're over 50. And if they have any psychiatric history or neurological disorders, they're also at a greater risk as well. Going back to the main point of the video was, can you die of a broken heart? And the short answer is yes. Although my research shows that 1% of people who have broken heart syndrome actually die from it, it's not very common. My guess is that since the most common symptoms are chest pain, most people would seek medical attention immediately. If they have no other problems with their heart previously, then full recovery is easy and the severe side effects are even rarer. People who actually die from broken heart probably have other underlying heart conditions. The stressful event is likely just the catalyst that sends the events into motion. These of course are just some educated guesses. Thank you so much for watching. What other weird illnesses and diseases have you heard of? Leave them in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Have yourself a great day.